President Obama. Welcome to Occupy Happy Cup, where hopes and dreams are free. Occupy the ghost as we walk into the dream world, sitting on an iceberg in virtual Antarctica, thinking about the Book of Ice. I want to live in a place where there are no fences, trenches, or landmines. I want to go to the coast where I can touch the water and breathe the air. I want to follow the stream to a destination unknown, alone, aware, immersed, and engaged. I am dazed and amazed at this place we call home. We don't need this fabrication of an education. Leave the kids alone. Unable to disable this machine that we call life, a feather in the wind of a prevailing storm slowly floats down to the ground as they form a circle in the quad to watch over each other. Nothing to hide, nowhere to run. Welcome to the information age. Let it bleed, UCD. What was on your mind? And we need to come out and support one another because as much as I want to be out there for you, my friends, I can't do it alone and I need your support. Martin, Bobby, and Malcolm, baby boomers, YouTubers, and Facebook, I look, stare, and remember a time, a memory, a story from long ago. What happened today? I can't understand. I look away for I know, you know, that there were some fools on the town today. I feel a sense of urgency upon us. Open the doors, unlock the mine, unravel the machine, sit down and talk. Does this make sense? Let's call the students customers, the university, the corporation. Are we satisfied with the service? Are we happy with the meal? Would we come back for seconds? Call it lazy, crazy, or plain stupid. UCD, what was on your mind? I'm not blind and I have not forgotten. I've had enough. Nowhere to go. No one to see. Stand up for your rights. Sit down to be heard. Consumers unite. Beware, the cook is out of control and the restaurant is out of service. Yelp, scream, and Twitter. The bitter taste and burning eyes reminds me, don't blind me. Occupy my mind with hope, but leave my body alone. Yeah. You guys there, we can't be alone in this anymore. Think about it. If you can't do anything about it, think about it. Think about it in your in your room by yourself if you're too scared to say something. But in your heart, if you're supporting us, I know that you can come out and say hi and come out and eat some of our food and just be one of us. Because we can't do this alone. Because if we're in a small little group, we're going to be kicked down onto the floor and kicked off of this campus and called radicals and crazies. Come here and gather around the stage. The time has come for us to voice our rage against the ones who've trapped us in a cage. The bidding of the many, not the few.